Ah, yeah, Jesus. Get this thing off. <laughs> Between the sheets. <laughs> A suggestive name indeed. Maybe not as risque as the screaming orgasm or the silk panties cocktail, but where did that name originate anyway? Maybe if you had too many of them, you'll wind up between the sheets. <laughs> what I do know is that this sexy little drink dates back either to 1920s London or 1930s Paris, depending on which version of history you choose to believe. The Between the Sheets cocktail has similarities with the sidecar and, well, the Maiden's Prayer, which are all variations of pretty much the same cocktail recipe. One version of Between the Sheets allegedly was created in the bar at the Berkeley Hotel in London in about 1921 and was invented by the manager, Mr. Polly. Now, the Berkeley Hotel started off some 300 years ago as a coffee house on the busy corner of Piccadilly and Berkeley Street. By the 1920s, the hotel became popular with debutantes and their beaux, and especially with their parents. Yeah, their parents who trusted the Berkeley staff to keep an eye on their daughter's reputations. You know, keep them out of uh, getting in between those sheets. <laughs> the other story as to where and who created the cocktail credits Harry McKellen. He started working at the New York bar in 1911. A superb mahogany bar that was literally dismantled from the 7th Avenue of Manhattan and reassembled at Rue Donu in Paris. By 1923, Harry McKellen bought that bar and renamed it Harry's New York Bar. The establishment became a famous haunt for many Americans in Paris and celebrities like Ernest Hemingway, Jack Dempsey, Rita Hayworth, uh, Scott and Zelda Fitzgerald, Humphrey Bogart, tennis pro Bill Tilden, French fashion designer Coco Chanel, and even George Gershwin. He actually composed that amazing piece of music, An American in Paris, on a rickety old out-of-tune piano at Harry's Bar. <laughs> Gershwin scored his composition on paper towels, which unfortunately were burned during the war to light a stove. Yeah. Being the creator of many a classic cocktail is what gives credence to Harry McKellen inventing the Between the Sheets. Harry is often credited with inventing the Bloody Mary, the Monkey Gland, an early version of the French 75, the White Lady, Old Pal, and possibly, possibly the Boulevardier, though that wasn't a creation of Harry's, but actually a, a regular patron of the bar, writer uh, Erskine Gwynne, who edited a magazine called <laughs> The Boulevardier. Harry was simply the first to mix it up for him, and from 1922, possibly one of the original sidecar recipes, which was merely a riff on the Brandy Crusta. So why not the Between the Sheets? <laughs> it too is simply a variation of the sidecar. There are lots of related drinks to the Between the Sheets cocktail. I guess because the sidecar was so popular, it spawned many similar drinks like the Embassy cocktail and the Boston sidecar. By replacing some of the cognac with white rum, Between the Sheets has a maybe a lighter, more summery feel to it. So who actually created the Between the Sheets cocktail? <laughs> there are no hard facts. Nothing is certain in the world of cocktails. <laughs> you know that, come on. <laughs> All I know though is that when made properly, Between the Sheets is a beautifully balanced drink. Let's get under those sheets <laughs> and make one, okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <sh> <laughs>
Um, yeah, cognac, one ounce. We're gonna follow that up with some white rum. Bacardi is always a good choice, one ounce. And one ounce of Cointreau. <laughs> How I love Cointreau. It was <laughs> one ounce. Very simple to remember, very easy to make. Uh, we're gonna follow that up with a half an ounce of fresh pressed lemon juice. Half an ounce. I'm in. Yeah, it sure don't take much, does it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, add some ice. Pop a lid on. Ha! And shake it. Wait, hang on. <laughs> and shake it. <laughs> shake it between the sheets. Ah! I did that. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna get rid of this ice, chilling our glass, and uh, all we're gonna do, where's my strainer? There it is. All we're gonna do is find strain into our uh, chilled cocktail glass here. Nice. And we're just gonna garnish. Uh, I got a little uh, lemon rind here. Just scour, express the oils. Oh yeah. And we just uh, pop her on the side like that. Nice, nice. All right, let's check this out here. Mm hmm. Well, obviously the first thing I get is the lemon. And uh, I'm getting the rum, believe it or not. And a little, a little bit of the cognac. Not much Cointreau though. Maybe it's being buried by the lemon. Who knows? Let's try it. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> it's very tart and um, it's very potent. Between the Sheets is a bright citrusy cocktail. It's sexy and sassy. This is a tart drink that should not be undertaken lightly. I think the addition of a half a bar spoon of rich simple syrup would maintain the essential flavors of this cocktail and might be a little more approachable for some. As I said, it's tart and it's potent. <laughs> Definitely a couple of these and you'll wind up between the sheets, <laughs> guaranteed. But it's, it's very crisp, it's very nice. It's summery, um, but it is strong. It's a strong drink, guys. Enjoy it! writer Erskine Gwynn, who edited a magazine called <laughs> The Boulevardier. Harry was simply the first to mix it up for him. And from 1922, possibly one of the original sidecar recipes, which was merely a riff on the, the Brusty Cranda, the Brandy Crusta. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> There's your freaking blooper, isn't it? She's a tart little number. Ha! Ah!